Hey, people. So, pardon my little bit messy bedding behind me. Um, it's been a really long time since I did my first empties video, which was quite a while ago. <laughs> So um, I figured it was time that I do another one, especially since the holidays are upon us and I'm starting to gather Christmas presents for people and I need the closet space in which my empties were residing. So the, it's kind of out of control too. I had like one bag designated for empties and I was starting to go over into a second bag and I'm like, yeah, I, I want to throw this garbage away. <laughs> This is why I didn't want to do empties videos in the first place. It's because I don't like having empty things that need to be thrown away um, just sitting around in my apartment. So, um, okay. I should have organized these a little bit first, but oh well. I have two candles that I burned through vanilla chai. I'm sorry, my, give me one second. My camera is kind of wobbly. Okay. Sorry guys. Um, it is, let me just like tell you right now, <laughs> it is freezing in my apartment right now because I'm an idiot and I kept forgetting to put in a work order to have my air conditioners taken out. And it was still like, you know, fifties. It felt fine in my apartment because our, my building had the heat on. So I was like, you know, and I could turn my radiators on if I get cold, but it dropped to, let's see what the temperature is right now. Last night it was 15 degrees and I was freezing because having, I have window air conditioners, it's 19 right now. So yeah, I have window air conditioners. So when you have window air conditioners, you have like these little panels on the sides and air still comes through them. So um, yeah, if my camera wobbles a little bit, it's probably because one of those wall air conditioners is over here and air keeps blowing in. So luckily I have a radiator right there too. So anyways, that is besides the point. <laughs> um, I was telling you that I burned through this vanilla chai candle from Bath and Body Works, which this is amazing. It's one of my favorites from um, their fall collections. I don't think you can get this one anymore though, unfortunately, um, possibly online, I don't know. Um, if you do find it, it'd probably be marked down substantially, but this is a great candle. I hope that it comes back. Honestly, I wish it was permanent. I also burned through this Yankee um, balsam and cedar candle and your eyes are not deceiving you. That is a lot of uh, smoke. I think this happened because I, there was a lot of like flame coming up and so I put like a lid partially over it while it was blowing out so that smoke wouldn't go everywhere. But um, I wasn't a big fan of this candle. I think the single wick pillars they just don't ha this one doesn't have that great of a throw it smells so great cold but I, I mean I had this since last year and I just was like I just want to burn through it so I can get rid of it um okay next I finished <laughs> this is like I finished this so long ago I'm like did I like this yes I did like this this is a um Charles Worthington salon at home volume and bounce shampoo this is from Target I really liked this shampoo I would definitely repurchase it, it smelled nice and um yeah looking at this I'm like oh yeah I want to I want to get another one of these this was good I liked this shampoo um I also used up my Acure uh pure mint and echinacea stem cell shampoo um as you know, this was sent to me by Cure, and I loved this. It's a great shampoo. Also, um, I was feeling creative, and I used this to shave as well, and this is great as a shaving gel, so um, definitely would repurchase this. I've, I'm almost done with the conditioner as well. I always run out of conditioner a lot slower, but I'm almost done with that too, so that'll probably be my next empties video, um, but that was that is great also. Uh, I used up two sim packs of simple cleansing wipes. They're my favorite. Um, they're just super gentle. These are the only makeup wipes that I can use and feel like I can go to sleep afterwards without washing my face and I won't have to worry about having breakouts or anything in the morning. They're just so gentle. I also used up a pack of these little babies. These are the eye makeup remover pads. These are fantastic. I really like using these. Um, 
to take off my eye makeup before using a makeup wipe because I feel like then the makeup wipe can really like get into the nitty gritty instead of just using up the whole wipe practically on eye makeup. Um, I actually stumbled upon these because my eyes were watering really badly and when I was out with my dad one day and I was like I need to run into Walgreens and I need to take my makeup off my eyes because my eyes are just watering so bad. Um, and I used these to take them take it off it took it off really clean it didn't sting or anything like I said just like with the makeup the regular makeup wipes these are super gentle so if you have sensitive skin definitely try those out I also used up a pack of the oil balancing cleansing wipes so you can tell that it's been a while since I filmed that <laughs> last empties video because there's 25 in each of these so it's been at least probably almost three months it's been a while um, okay, I have a couple more shampoos. I used up this little baby Paul Mitchell tea tree special shampoo. It's a little like a travel size. Um, I really like this. I actually just finished it today because I found it um, in my cabinet when I was clearing out and it was almost gone. I was like, I might as well just use up the little last bit of this. I think I was holding on to it for if I was traveling again, but there was barely enough in here to get one shampoo. So I'm glad I didn't uh, save it because I would have been disappointed. I probably would have had to buy another one while traveling. Um, I also bought, or bought, <laughs> I'm so used to doing haul videos, <laughs> I, I also used up the Body Shop Banana Shampoo, there's like a teeny tiny 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 bit left in there. This stuff smells, I bet it still smells really amazing. Yes, it smells so good. The conditioner is really good too, but um, yeah, I have the Ginger, Body Shop Ginger Shampoo in the in my shower right now, and that one's great also. That was, that's like an old favorite since like, I started college. I've loved the ginger shampoo. But um, yeah, the banana one's really good too. I finished up this bottle um, of the L'Occitane Jenny Papo shower oil. I don't like this as much as I like the original because I didn't like the scent as much. Sorry, there's like cat fur on this. My cats are always like getting into things in my closet. It's part of why I don't like leaving these in there. Um, but this still works amazing for shaving. That's why I used it all up. Um, I don't I, like I said I, I, like I don't really like the scent of this so I wouldn't repurchase this one but I would absolutely repurchase and I have many times repurchased the original almond um, cleansing or shower oil from L'Occitane so it's definitely a recommendation I used up I can't even remember if I liked this I think I did <laughs> this sample of the um, first aid beauty skin rescue purifying mask with red clay um, I'm just not really that into face masks. I don't know. I just, especially when it's cold, I don't want to put something cold on my face and then have to get rid of it. I, I'm just very weird about things, but face masks, I'm, eh, I just don't really, and I don't like to get my sink messy. I'm just a little OCD. So it was okay. I think I rinsed out in the shower like I usually do with face masks because I'm weird. And uh, I also used up um, this it looks like there's stuff in there but there isn't I couldn't get anything else out of this pump um this is the covergirl true blend liquid makeup it is in the shade classic ivory I believe it's l2 even though it looks like an eye and I was very confused when I first got it um this is probably my favorite drugstore foundation and I will, will definitely repurchase this um it's just really good so I don't know I really like this foundation and yeah that's all I have to say about that obviously if I used it up I liked it so well hey there little orange guy it's been a while since you've made an appearance are you too chunky they put me down mom um I used up this fresh sugar advanced therapy lip balm I love the the fresh um lip balms my only problem and I had the same problem with this one is that like <laughs> I can't even use the rest of this up is it's like so melted and like little pieces of it come off and yeah it's just like it's so emollient that it has a tendency to break so I do really like this stuff though and I'd still recommend it even though the packaging is kind of frustrating because it's so um okay this uh, no I don't think this is the one I think this there's something in this Yep, this got in there by accident. Sorry, it's a little Chanel sample. <laughs> I thought it was the face wash from Chanel that I hated, but um, it was like a foaming face wash. I think I talked about that in my last empties video though. I used up, these are a staple for me for sure um, in my beauty routine. This is the Neutrogena Ultra Soft um, Eye Makeup Remover Pads. These are amazing. 
the main thing I like to use these for is when um, I get out of the shower and there's still you know a little bit of eye makeup in your eyes just wiping that off it's great for that also um, when my eyes are kind of itchy it really soothes them um, it's just multi-purpose I just love having these on hand they have a really nice like gentle scent um, th they don't irritate my eyes at all and they're amazing so I always repurchase that I used up a couple of hand soaps this is uh, body shop heirloom cranberries from last year and this one was from last year also scarlet pumpkin um, one thing I like to do I tend to kind of hoard hand soaps because when I like a scent I get it but um, what I like to do is kind of go through like half a bottle and then put it back in the cabinet and pull out a new one that way when I go back to the, to it it's new again you know so <laughs> I'm a dork this is what you have to do when you have too much of things um, I also used up this it's a 10 miracle leave-in plus keratin um, I really like this the only thing is I will will say is that if your hair is kind of oily to begin with which mine is um, don't use this anywhere near your scalp otherwise it'll but it's basically a heat protectant you put in before you dry your hair it smells really good too um, I used up my Batiste mini um, dry shampoo it's in the blush scent this is one of my absolute favorite dry shampoos probably my all-time favorite is the Dove dry shampoo but this one is really good too um, and I used up my Elnet satin hairspray the mini size I already purchased another one of these it's just a really good hairspray and it's not very expensive you can get it at the drugstore so it's convenient um, I think this is the last thing I have oh no I have one more after that so I also used up this Sally Hansen big shiny top coat I liked this but I will say that I feel like it has it had a tendency to bubble on my nails so I don't know I, I don't know if I would purchase this again but we'll see because I tried it with many different nail polishes and I feel like it always kind of bubbled so I don't know the last thing I'm very sad to to get rid of but it has gone off is the L'Occitane um, whipped body cream in honey it was limited edition I got it I think when I lived in Florida so I've had it a long time I don't know <laughs> this is a sad thing about body products is they tend to go off they go off a lot quicker than makeup um, but yeah there's still some left in there but it is like this weird like it's like hard now and it used to be really like light and creamy so I'm going to oh it still smells really good though I'm going to have to toss it so sad um yeah so that's all my empties I hope that you enjoyed and you found this helpful um I'm gonna try to make my next empties video not so long from now so that I don't have a million things to show you but um anyways I hope that uh you're all having a great week and staying warm and if you're already in a place that's warm, I remember what that felt like, and I'm jealous. So um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.